In this episode, you will learn how to insert different JChem functions to your worksheet in Microsoft Excel. There are various ways to do this. Let's see a couple of options. Start adding a structure object by converting from a drug name. You can also create a structure object by drawing instead. Let's first calculate monoisotopic mass, SMILES, and log P for a molecule. In order to insert the appropriate JChem function for a certain calculation, you need to know the name of that function. All JChem functions start with the JC prefix, and you can browse the list of available functions using the Insert Function window. All JChem functions are listed here by their category. There are, for example, functions to calculate drug discovery scores or count the different isomers of a molecule, but this time you'll need a function to calculate molecular mass from the elemental analysis category. There are two similar functions available, JC exact mass and JC mass. The tooltip is a bit short, but you can always click help on this function for a longer description. Here you can see that JC exact mass returns the monoisotopic mass, which is exactly what you need. The other function returns the average mass. Next, you need to specify the arguments for this function. JC exact mass only takes one parameter, which has to be a molecule. If a function has more than one argument, all of them are listed in this dialog. For example, log D requires not only a structure, but also a pH value as parameters. Some functions have names easy to remember, like JC Smiles, for the generation of the Smiles notation of a molecule. If you only know part of the name, you can always start typing it to a cell, and select the one you need from a drop-down list. In this case, you need the JC log P function that can be inserted by double clicking. For all JChem functions, the structure parameter can be in any compatible format, so you can even provide a traditional name directly. Thank you for watching. For more tutorial videos and updates from ChemAxon, stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel.